Together, let's embark on a scientific exploration of yoga, where you are the scientist. Your heart is the laboratory, and you are the outcome. Welcome to Meditate with Daji. So far, Daji has been taking us on a fascinating journey through heartfulness and through life. He has told us about many things that can help us on this journey and make our lives more rewarding. And at the same time, he has introduced the heartfulness practice to us, which can help us take control of our lives and design our destiny. Today, Daji will speak to us about aging gracefully. Time and tide wait for no man. No matter how youthful and young you may be, inevitably we all grow old. Aging is the reality of the physical universe. We feel it. We see it around us. Many people despair at the idea of growing old. But does it have to be this way? Cannot growing old also be a joyful process? Does the aging of the body also mean the aging of our enthusiasm? And what factors contribute to aging prematurely? Let's watch this film in which Daji explores the issue of aging. This couple may not know it, but their arguing and tension may lead to premature aging. When my son was four years old, he wanted to look like me. He wanted to age faster. He's in his 30s. Now he wants to look younger. To me, we unfortunately mix aging with becoming wiser or evolving with our consciousness. But such things really do not happen with most human beings. I would say 99% of human beings, we simply age. We hardly evolve. Watch a banyan tree or a sequoia tree or oak tree. As they age, they become grander and grander. They become magnanimous. What about human? There are two categories. Those who have such a beautiful smile, they melt your heart away when they get older. It's as a result of graceful aging. There is opposite to it as well, disgraceful aging. What is disgraceful aging? Life led with guilt. Things that I could have said my father or my mother when they were dying, they're no longer there. Whom shall I express my sorrow now? Life led with confidence, with mutual trust and respect, with love towards family members and friends, entertaining no jealousy, etc. I think it's a graceful way of leading a life. Loving heart, compassionate heart, generous heart. They seem to radiate joy all around them, see. They don't have to speak a word, but their very presence convey a very significant message. Somehow these attitudes of generosity, kindness, compassionate heart, love, it creates a different sort of physiology within our body. We have two ways of expressing age. One way is biological age. Another way is our calendar age. Was it graceful? Was it disgraceful? Based on that, you will be able to see the aging pattern, especially the biological aging. A person at 50 may look like he's 40 or 30. It reflects how he has carried out his life how he has suffered in his life or how he has enjoyed his life without any guilt. It is found through scientific discoveries now that the most changes that occur are at the epigenetic level. For example, when you go through tremendous trauma, stress, exposing oneself to environmentally unfriendly situation, it somehow accelerates this process of aging where methylation happens at all the chromosome levels. That means faster the aging. Generous hearts, compassionate hearts, loving hearts, rate of methylation will be less. Also, there is a thing like what we call in chromosomes, telomere. One can safely say that meditation or well-done meditation can help us 
increase the length of telomere and decrease the rate of methylation. Eat with right attitude, good exercise, meditate well. All this can help us not only retarding the aging process but also help us reverse the aging process. And now, like always, let's meditate with Daji. So, if you are all comfortable, sit in a comfortable posture as you like. Please gently close your eyes. Now, wiggle your toes if you can. Pay your attention towards your feet. Feel the energy arising from Mother Earth and entering your system through feet. Imagine that it is entering and helping you relax your feet your ankle, your lower feet, calf muscles and your knees. Let this energy move upward. The thigh be relaxed. the hips, let this energy move upward to your lower back, let this area be relaxed, let it travel upward all the way to your shoulders. the entire back be relaxed. Now, imagine that energy is entering and helping you relax in the abdominal area. your chest area. Feel how the shoulders are melting away. Let this energy descend to your upper arms. your elbow, lower arms, palms and your fingertips. Feel the body from neck down to your feet is relaxed now. Let this energy move your neck muscles. See how they are relaxing now. Let this energy move upward further. Your facial muscles. Your eyelids are completely relaxed, eyebrows, your forehead, nose, your lips, your earlobes, 
and the crown of your head. You see now, the whole energy is now invigorating around the whole system from top to toe. Now, gently focus your attention towards the heart and imagine that the light, the source of divine light is already present in your heart, which is pulling your attraction inward. While you have this idea in your mind, Please don't exert yourself so much. Be very gentle. If thoughts do arise, simply remind yourself that you are meditating on the presence of this source of divine light, which is already present in the heart. I'll be transmitting to you is Pranahuti. Most of you will be able to feel this presence and you'll be able to appreciate the outcome of this session. Please continue with this meditation for half hour. When it is over, I'll announce that's all.
that's all. Please make a note of how you felt. It's right or observations.